In this video, we'll see how to implement login module in Servlet and JSP. So we have already seen the theory of this, right? So what we need, we have a login page here, which is login.jsp, we have welcome.jsp, we have videos.jsp. So if I go to login.jsp, it should give me two, uh, it will give, it should give me two text field where I will enter my credentials, username, password. And if, if I click on the button, if the username, password is correct, it should call a page which is welcome.jsp in which will welcome the user and will print welcome space username and will provide a button or a link for videos page. And once you click on the videos link, it will take you to videos.jsp page. And here we'll try to uh, show you some, uh, I will we'll try to show some uh, video or something like that. So uh, we have these three pages and what I want, I want this welcome.jsp to be a secure page and this videos.jsp to be a secure page, which means if you are logging, then only you can access these pages. Uh, let me have one more page here. I will name that page as let's say new and JSP. I will I will say this page as about us dot JSP and in this page what I will display is I will say uh, this is is Naveen ready from Telesco ah Telesco learnings okay that's what we want to show in the about us page again the view will not be that good okay just we are just focusing on the login part i'm not concerned about the view uh, how it looks so we'll, keep, we'll try to keep it simple so we have this about us page which prints the about us data so what i want this page should be open page it should not have any restriction to open so if i go to login page so login page and about page they are uh, unsecured pages and this welcome and videos they are secure pages so if i play this if i run this login.jsp now if i run this okay wow it will open in my browser if i hope it will be in firefox okay that's firefox here so that's my login page okay so i can access, access i can access login page i can access a uh, welcome page welcome.jsp so i don't want my user to access this welcome.jsp page okay so this should be accessible only when the user is logged in so what we'll do is we'll try to provide a login button here or uh, we'll provide a form so we'll say this is form we'll say form action and we'll mention let's mention so we'll say double quotes and we'll mention here form action we'll call a, a servlet here which is let's say this the servlet name is login okay and we'll keep the method as a uh, method as get now we require a username so we'll say enter user name and we'll say this is input type equal to text and we'll say this name is equal to you name okay and we'll say br the next thing we require is enter password okay and we'll say this is input type equal to this is again this will this will set as a password so that you will see that uh, star symbol there and we'll name this as pass okay and then we'll say br now next we require a button so we'll set input type equal to text or not text this time it will be submit and we'll say value what it should show is a login button right so now once you type all these codes once you click on this login button it will call a login dot or login.java file which is login.class file which is servlet right now let me create a servlet here so we'll say not here we'll in the java file so we'll say right click new we'll, let's create a servlet and it belongs to a package which is com.login i have already created that created that uh, package here com.login and the class name let's say this is login.java once you click on finish it will give you the uh, full source code for servlet right so we're not concerned about this thing. Let's make it simple. We don't want do post. We just want do get here. Okay, not even comments. Okay, so we just want do get. And inside do get what we want. So let, okay. So now we need to first, first fetch those details. So we'll say string u name equal to, and we'll say this is request. This is request dot get parameter and inside this get parameter you have to mention that you want data from 
uname. Now this uname here, which is the request.get parameter, you have to fetch data from this field. That's why uname. And next we have to fetch password. So we'll say string pass equal to request dot get parameter and we'll say this is again pass okay now once we got these two details now let's call let's verify now how to verify we'll say if again you can fetch this or you can verify this data with the help of database so you can create a DAO layer you can request your database to give you the username password and then you can verify but time and let's make it static we'll say if my uname is equals if it is equals to Telisco and and the password need to be equals with let's say learnings if this two are same so if my username is Telisco and password is learning in that case we can call welcome.jsp now how to call that so before calling we need to also very we need to also add the data into session right because how will you verify by when you're calling welcome.jsp how will you verify that the user has logged in oh, let's not do that first initially let's keep it simple let's say directly we'll call uh, welcome.jsp will simply say this is response so this is response dot send redirect we'll say send redirect and we have to mention here the page name which is welcome.jsp that's it right it's that simple and when I run this code, it should call welcome.jsp. Let's try. So if I run this code now, okay, it's running. Okay, so here it will ask you for two things. Let's enter it as Telisco and we'll say this is, oh, I guess I have entered a wrong detail. So let, learnings. And if I say, oh, welcome, you can see we got welcome.jsp. But the thing is, this page doesn't have anything. We'll say, welcome that's it okay now let's go back to this enter we got welcome right now if let me enter once again I will say learnings enter we got welcome.jsp right but what if I enter a wrong password and if I say login you can see we got a login page or the login servlet and it's not it's not showing anything so what we want if the username and password is wrong if, or if any of the one is wrong We'll call the same page again. We'll call login page again. So we'll say response dot send redirect or send redirect, and we'll mention this is login dot jsp. So it will again call the same page. So let me show you this. And if I say enter, so I got login page. Let me enter any any, any data here. If I say login, oh, it's not yet deployed. I guess. Okay. Let me just refresh again. Okay, so let me try something else. If I click on login, you can see we got the same page again, right? So if your username and password is right, it will call welcome.jsp. If it is wrong, it will call login.jsp. Now what will happen if I if I if I'm not logging it? Okay, if, let me just change my browser. Let me op use Opera. And inside Opera, if you paste I, if I paste this link which is welcome.jsp, you can see I have not logged in, right? And let me go back to this and say welcome dot jsp and we got welcome it's because we have not mentioned that uh, we need to check for the login now how to verify that user is login anyway you're, you're able to access the welcome page right so what we can do whenever a user login will will set the data in, into a session now how to use session we can see ses http session will say session equal to now if you don't know how to use session just go back to the video where i have talked about uh, how to use sessions and then we'll say HTTP session, we'll say this is request dot get session. Okay, so once we got this session, now we'll set the data into session. Let's import the package. Okay, now it is session dot. We have to set the data into session, so we have to say set attribute. We'll say this is, we'll set the label, which is let's say username as a label. And the data we need to send is the uname, which he has entered while login. So this is this is your name. Sounds good. So we have set we have uh, we have set the data into the session. Now in the welcome page, we need to check. So before executing anything, we need to, we need to check that was the data he has entered. So how to how to check that? Uh, so we'll check if 
if this session dot get attribute since we are when you assign data you use set attribute to get the data we use get attribute if the attribute with username is equal to equal to null because if user is directly trying to access this page without login this will be null right if that is the case we'll again call response dot send redirect let's call login dot jsp okay if not then it will print welcome let's try let's go back to opera so is it opera this is what this is opera now i'm trying to access welcome dot jsp without doing login and if i say enter you can see we got login page awesome right it's this is this is possible with the help of this thing here which is session now let's say if i'm logging if i'm trying to log in here we'll say this is telusco and the password is learnings and if i say okay we got login we'll, we got welcome page right but the thing is i want to show the username also so we can use jstl here which is the expression language and we can directly write dollar and we can write here uh, what username so this is jstl so whatever you have so let's say in session we have this one very session so inside session we have username right so in this welcome page it will fetch the username from the session so that's how you use jstl which is java standard tag library or expression language to be specific now in this welcome page what we need we require a label we require uh what what we require we require a, a link for videos.jsp so what we can do is we can provide a anchor tag we'll say ahref equal to we'll say videos.jsp we can mention it anchor tag close and we'll mention this is videos we'll say videos here and once i click on that link videos here it will go it will take me to video.jsp right let me just enter this and we can see we got welcome telesco and it says videos here if i click on videos it will take me to videos page and how to include videos so can i include my video there let me try i've never, never tried it let's me let me go to youtube and let me search for my let me search Naveen. let me search java tutorials yeah that's me and let me fetch this video okay copy the link okay and let me paste it here i don't know will it work will it work i don't know Oh, it will not work of course right this is just a link right so let, let me just show you the link not the actual video but a link right for that we have to use a video link so we got a link for my video you can act, you can actually use a video link on your video tag on your website and you can embed this link there what we want is we let's imagine instead of this we are getting a video so uh, if i try to access this page directly without login so let me okay we have we already logged in right let me use it now this time we'll use chrome and inside Chrome, let me paste this link. And you can see we are able to access this page, right, without login. So what we need to do? We need to do the same thing. Just go to welcome page, copy this code, and paste it here. Sounds good. And now if I go back to my Chrome, and if I say enter, it takes me to login page. Awesome, right? So that's how you use login. But there's one more thing. Let's say if I'm providing a logout button here. So if I say logout, so let me provide a logout button. So we'll say form action. I will provide logout only on the welcome page. So I will say form action. Uh, it, it should call the logout.servlet or logout.java file. And we'll create a button here. So we'll say this is input type equal to submit and in this the text we, will, we can show is value will say this is log out simple and once you click on this logout button it will call a logout.jsp page so we'll say new uh, logout not the jsp logout.servlet so we'll say new servlet this will be com.login and it belongs to it, the name it will be log out right and let me remove all this extra stuff here let's only focus on the get method and inside this will mention whenever you click on logout button what should what should happen is it should remove your data from the session so we'll say this is session 
request dot get session right and we can just import the package by pressing ctrl shift o and we'll say this is session dot so while login you set the session while log out you remove the session or remove the attribute which attribute we have to use we have to say this is user name and we need to do one more thing which is session dot invited so that it will remove all the data okay now let me i hope it will work now so let me run this and again this will be opened in a firefox that's my default browser for the eclipse okay so now let, let me enter let me log in so it's a telescope and this is learnings okay so we, we, we got the log we got the welcome page so i'm login right if i change my tab here if i go to videos.jsp i'm able to access this page is just because i'm logged let me log out okay that's it i have logged out let me go to videos.jsp page or different tab and if i click on okay you get the login page Awesome, right? So that's how you manage this session or you manage the login session in Servlet and JSP. We can even navigate from after once you click on logout button, you can navigate to the uh, login page. We can simply write this is what? Uh, response dot send redirect, right? And then we can mention this is go back to lo login page. So every time you log out, it, it will take you to login.jsp page. Awesome, right? So that's how you work with uh, login module in servlet jsp so let me know if you have any doubts any questions let me just go for a quick recap before that uh, that's a login page when you click on this login button it will take you to login dot login servlet where you will verify your credentials if your log username is right it will take you to welcome.jsp otherwise it will take you to login.jsp but before going to welcome.jsp it will set the attribute as a username when you go to welcome.jsp you can print the same username but before that it will check are you login? If you how, how can you check that you are login? It will check for the attribute. If it is not, if it is null, then it will take you login.jsp. Otherwise, it will show you the button or link for videos. When once you click on this button, which is videos, it will take you to this page. And if you you can also click on logout button here. Once you click on logout, it will go to logout servlet and it will remove the attribute. So that's it. So if you have have any doubts, just comment in the comment area and. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like the like on the like button and that's it. Thanks for watching.